There's definitely been a turn actually over the last few days while I've been away because I'm noticing even these terraces, like the foliage has died back a lot more. They're so much easier to walk through than they were just a few days ago. And trees have suddenly turned from their summer foliage to their autumn foliage. There's just this explosion of orange and yellow <laughs> in various corners of the finca. We don't have that many deciduous trees that actually lose their leaves and change colour like this. But the ones we do, like this khaki, are just looking gorgeous right now. Are we going to do an autumn photo shoot, Tofu? Tofu! Tofu! This way! <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you going? Huh? I think this means I'm having porridge with khaki for breakfast. My trip to Valencia was pretty successful. Look at all this stuff I've got. This random collection of things in the back of this van. I've got some plants that I saved from our balcony um, that were doing quite well. I've got random collections of drip trays and things like that, which I really needed. We've got a strimmer. I'm very excited about this because our strimmer has been in the workshop for months and months and months and we only just got it back so that's really exciting you might also be able to make out a bike in here and an upturned bathtub which i'm also really excited about So one of the things we want to do this month in November is sort out the hot water situation. Um, we don't have hot water at the moment um, unless we boil it in a pot or something. And I think for November, December, it's going to start getting a bit too chilly to shower outside with our solar water, heated water. Um, it doesn't really get that hot because the sun's not that strong. So we'd really like to put a little gas powered water heater in the bathroom area and hook that up to some water obviously and yeah basically make the bathroom functional as a bathroom so I just found these tiles in um, the ruin area of the Finca and there's loads of them I don't know how many but a whole wheelbarrow full some of them are a bit broken but that's fine because at the edges you normally need like shorter bits um, so I'm just going to clean them up and separate them out into good ones and bad ones and see how much wall they might cover in the bathroom.
I've done about half of them. I'm going to have to call it a day now because, as you can see, it's getting very dark. I'm going to count them and see how many I've got and figure out with maths how many square metres I've got. Day three of scrubbing the tiles. Oh, the water's so cold. <sighs> My hands just warmed up after doing the washing up at lunchtime. The last thing I want to do is plunge them into another bucket of icy cold water. <sighs> but this is the last lot. So there we go, about 150 intact, clean tiles that I can use in the bathroom. About three square metres, I think, amongst these three piles. And then a few half tiles and tiles that have already been cut, and a few that just have some kind of chips out of them in the corners. So maybe about four square metres in total, if I can reuse all of these as well. So it's now just gone five, it's the evening and the sun is just about to dip behind the hills over there. So this is the issue with these winter days, it just gets dark so early, it's really hard to find time to do anything outside. So this is how I've been working at the moment in this improvised stand up desk in the kitchen, in this little shaft of sunlight which is keeping my legs nice and warm because it's just so cold in the house. I was not expecting this for Spain. It's just, it's just chilly and it's, it's annoying, it's weird because it's really hot outside. Well, it's not hot, it's maybe 17, 18, something like that. But when you're in the sun, it feels really, really warm. But, you know, these stone houses, they're good at keeping a very steady temperature. They don't get too cold. They don't drop down to like six or even four or five that we've been getting at night. They stay a little bit warmer than that, but they just stay at that temperature all day long as well. Um, so it's just chilly in there. It doesn't warm up um, like it does out here. So until my stove arrives, this is where I am. I had literally just filmed that video of me being cold in the kitchen. And the stove is ready. The guy has just messaged me to tell me that it's ready. So I'm going to try and pick it up this evening. I can't wait. Let's do the honors. Welcome to the unboxing of this uh, stove. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember to like and subscribe. Ooh. Hot content. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, this is a great feature. Fire bricks. Yeah. Mm. Okay, oh. so this won't open all the way, but if we can jump something like this, we, we should just consider ourselves throw the lucky. feed in the gap. <laughs> You have to turn it towards you. Ah. 
Yep. Okay, the light's really bad. I'm gonna stop this. Okay, how's this, how's this going again? You I'm holding it, it up. I'm holding it up, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to go up in the top one. Oh, no. Just do it, do it here. Do it there. Okay, yeah. I honestly don't know what to do with all this wood. I'd quite like to use this place as a wood store because it's got a bit of a roof already. But I really don't know what to do with all this old wood here. It's almost rotten at the bottom. I'm wondering if I can turn it into some sort of, I don't know, mulch maybe or something like wood chip. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it here as it is actually because I could try and break it all up into smaller pieces to try and spread somewhere, but I would just be here all day. So I think what I'm going to do is just leave it in this pile, maybe throw some water on it to maybe help the decomposition process. And at some point, I'm sure having this big pile of semi-decomposed wood will be really useful in the garden. So since I can't use the old log store because I can't be able to move all of those logs, I'm going to make a new one. Our wood has arrived. This is what a ton of wood looks like.
some confusion over whether I was ordering <laughs> um, a pallet's worth or a cubic meter, which I thought would be the same as a pallet, or a ton. Um, anyway, we ended up with a ton. So <laughs> here it is, and it fills these two kind of pallet size areas, and it also fills It also fills this tiny little wood storage area that we've got indoors as well. And here's the basket of wood that we're probably going to burn tonight. No Tofu, to the left! Tofu, to the left! There we go. 